So there's been an update in the purple mattress case. The judge issued a preliminary injunction. Now this is document 191 in the case. I apologize, I have not read the other 189 or 87 or whatever. We read a couple in one of the uh, in, in one of the stories. We went over the complaint and I think some of the responses. So we've gone over a couple of these documents. I honestly did not go through all of this. I think, I think, this, this document here will summarize a lot of what's happened. So this is Purple Innovation LLC, which is the Purple Mattress Company, versus Honest Mattress Reviews, uh, Ryan Monahan and Ghostbed. And this is by the Honorable D. Benson of the United States District Court for the District of Utah, Central Division. On May 24th, Purple Innovation, Purple Mattress, submitted its motion for a preliminary injunction against Honest Mattress Reviews, Ryan Monahan and Ghostbed. After full briefing, the court held an evidentiary hearing, having carefully considered the motion, the evidence, the arguments, the submissions, uh, and for good cause the appearance, the court now enters the following findings of fact, conclusions of law, and order. On March 2nd, the court entered a TRO against defendants requiring, among other things, the cert that certain online articles and statements posted by Monaghan and HMR on the Honest Mattress Reviews website be taken down. On March 15th, the court granted the Monaghan's the Monaghan defendant's motion to dissolve the TRO and denied Purple's motion to convert the TRO into a preliminary injunction. If you've been following the Imagos case, some of this may be familiar to you, why we're on a TRO or a preliminary injunction. I'm going to skip that part here. It's not, not really relevant to this. Purple subsequently filed the instant motion, again seeking a preliminary injunction. Purple submitted the declaration of Kalisha Anderson, a former employee of Ghostbed, in further support of the motion. Following a hearing, the court set evidentiary hearing. The court held an evidentiary hearing. The court heard testimony from Monaghan, Werner, and Anderson. And the court has made dis determinations on the credibility. The court found the testimony of Kalisha Anderson to be credible and persuasive as to the relationship between Ryan Monahan and Ghostbed. If you recall, uh, there was a review of the purple mattress that was not favorable. It's fine, right? But it brought up really odd questions about the white powder, and it seemed a little bit, a little bit hyperbolic. But you know, arguably somebody could be really upset about the white powder. And there, this, this, this was posted on Ryan Monahan's honestmattressreviews.com website and subsequently attacked by Purple Mattress as being fraudulent, so misrepresentative that, that there's something more going on here. And so that's what we're trying to find out here is what is the more going on. Even without Anderson's testimony, the evidence in record and presented at the hearing is sufficient to, to demonstrate the existence of a clear affiliation between Monaghan and Ghostbed. In contrast to Anderson's testimony, the court found the testimony of Monaghan and Werner to be less than credible. In any event, their testimony did not convince the court that no substantial relationship exists between Monaghan and Ghostbed. Based on the testimony of Anderson and the documentary evidence presented at the hearing, the court finds the declarations of Werner and Monaghan submitted in support of their motion to dissolve the TRO to be very concerning. Certain statements in the declaration, including Werner's statement in paragraph 12 that Ghostbed does not have any affiliation whatsoever with Mr. Monaghan, are at best misleading if not outright false. Subsequent paragraphs in Werner's declaration fail to elucidate the details of the relationship between Monaghan and Werner in a forthcoming manner, and the declaration is, in many respects, misleading, oblique, and likely the product of careful attorney drafting. The evidence also strongly calls into question the veracity of Monaghan and Werner in the declarations to the effect that Monaghan's use of the title Chief Brand Officer for Ghostbed was unauthorized and a mistake. Monaghan acquired the domain name Honest Mattress Reviews on or about August 10, 2016. Monaghan registered the domain name through Domains by Proxy, which conceals the actual name of the owner. 
At about the same time, Monaghan created the HMR social media, including but not limited to YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Since its inception, Monaghan simultaneously posts to them, sole owner, etc. As discussed below, Monaghan and Ghostbed have an affiliation that dates back to at least 2015, including an economic relationship. Despite Monaghan's close association with Ghostbed, the Monaghan defendants fail to disclose anything about the association on the HMR website or social media. The disclosure on the HMR website that Monaghan consults for many companies in this space, as well as other industries at various capacities, does not adequately disclose Monaghan's relationship with Ghostbed. Shortly after, or simultaneously with, Monaghan's launch of the HMR website and social media, Monaghan and Ghostbed engaged in efforts to remove evidence of their connections from the web. Among other things, Monaghan removed the chief brand officer title from his LinkedIn and Twitter profiles, and Ghostbed changed the author of various articles on the blog page of its website from Monaghan to Sleep Team. The court finds defendants engaged in these efforts purposefully to hide from the public the affiliation between Monaghan and Ghostbed. Between 2015, beginning in 2015, Monaghan provided extensive digital marketing and social media services to Ghostbed. Monaghan provided these services on an ongoing basis through his company, Social Media Sharks, which acted as a subcontractor for Achieve Agency. Ghostbed paid Achieve for its services on a monthly basis. Ghostbed through Achieve has paid Social Media Sharks approximately $150,000. Based on Monaghan's testimony, however, it appears that certain invoices may not have been produced, which means the amount may be larger. Monaghan currently produce, excuse me, Ghostbed currently pays Social Media Sharks $10,000 thousand dollars per month for the services it provides to Ghostbed through Achieve. Monaghan continues to provide digital marketing and social media services to Ghostbed through social media sharks, sharks and Achieve to this day. Among other things, Monaghan has been and is in charge of Ghostbed's Facebook page. He has assisted with the design and content of the Ghostbed website, and he has worked on sales promotions and marketing emails sent to Ghostbed customers. Monaghan has worked on competitive advertising for Ghostbed, including an advertising targeted at Purple, one of Ghostbed's primary competitors. On at least one occasion, Monaghan contacted Werner to request permission to run an attack ad on Purple and target Purple users on Ghostbed's behalf. Monaghan, with Ghostbed's knowledge and consent, at times represented himself as chief brand officer of Ghostbed. Monaghan, with Ghostbed's knowledge and consent, used a Ghostbed.com email address. The Monaghan defendant's statements about Purple. Defendants' honest reviews and Ryan Monahan posts about Ghostbed on the HMR website have been very favorable. Indeed, it appears that one of the very first, if not the very first, mattress review posted on the HMR website was a review of the Ghostbed, which received over four stars. By contrast, the statements and articles on the HMR website and social media have been extremely critical of Purple. The Monaghan defendants, with Ghostbed's knowledge and consent, have targeted Purple on the HMR website and social media with a negative and inflammatory online campaign regarding the attack, the anti-tack powder that Purple uses on its mattresses and pillows. Among other things, the articles and posts about the anti-tack powder state and imply a false and misleading, in a, in a false and misleading fashion, that the powder is dangerous and causes cancer and respiratory problems, including for persons with asthma. The articles and posts about the anti-tack powder state and imply a false and misleading fashion that Purple is trying to deceive or hide facts related to the anti-tack powder from consumers. The Monaghan defendants' articles, posts, and videos have gone viral and have spread widely throughout the web, such that Purple's use of the anti-tack powder is now a common topic in various online fora. The proper plural of forum. Wow, cool. Additionally, the Monaghan defendants' commentary on the lawsuits has spread widely throughout the web, including the YouTube video published April 11th, the Purple Mattress Sues Me Over These Four Safety Questions video. 
Monahan has pinned the purple video to the start of the HMR Facebook page, where it has been shared 4,000 times and generated 1,200 comments. HMR's YouTube channel, where Monahan has pinned purple, the purple video to the beginning of its homepage, indicates that nearly 3.5 million users have watched this video. As reported by consumers to Purple's customer service department and on various online platforms, including the HMR website and social media, and including Purple's website and social media, the statements and assertions in the articles and the related materials are causing consumer confusion. Numerous consumers are questioning the safety of Purple's products, and many consumers affirmatively believe that Purple's products are in fact dangerous, cause cancer, and cause respiratory problems. The Monaghan defendant's statement and assertions have impacted consumers' purchasing decisions, causing them to return purple products, decide not to purchase products, and cancel their orders on purple products. Werner admitted that in May 2016, his daughter, Ashley Werner, who is employed by Ghostbed, posted a false review of the purple mattress on Amazon.com under the fict fictional name Cami J, in which she implied that the purple mattress uses the same powder at issue in lawsuits involving Johnson & Johnson, and makes reference to all these people getting cancer from their powders. The Monaghan defendants have made similar statements on the HMR website and social media, suggesting that Purple's anti-tack powder is baby powder or talc, such as that involved in the Johnson & Johnson lawsuits. Ghostbed's customer service representatives have made false and misleading statements to customers to the effect that Purple uses baby powder in its products, and that Purple's products cause cancer, and that Purple's products cause people who, to cough up blood. Ghostbed has not denied that the statements are false, and according to Werner, Ghostbed has told its employees to seek, cease making all such statements. As a result of the statements on the HMR website and social media, the false review on Amazon, and Ghostbed's false statements to consumers, Purple has suffered irreparable harm, and it faces the prospect of continuing irreparable harm to its reputation and goodwill. As a result of the online campaign against Purple, Purple has suffered lost sales in an amount that may be difficult to quantify. Conclusions Plaintiff has a substantial likelihood of prevailing on the merits and its claims against defendants, and there are serious issues of merit of those claims that merit further litigation, including in particular plaintiff's claim for false advertising. The, ev the evidence shows that Purple is substantially likely to establish that a strong connection and affiliation exists between Monaghan and Ghostbed, which relationship is not disclosed on the HMR website or social media, that statements made on the HMR website and social media regarding Purple and its products and its services are false and misleading, three, that the omitted disclosures regarding the Monaghan Ghostbed Monahead, Monahan Ghostbed relationship and the negative statements about Purple are material and are impacting consumers' purchasing decisions. Four, that the statements and omissions are made in commerce. Five, the omissions are as to the Monahan uh, Ghostbed relationship are likely to cause confusion and mistake and to deceive as to their affiliation. The false and misleading statements between regarding Purple and its products and services are made in commercial advertising and promotion. The false and misleading statements and its products and services uh, misrepresent the nature, characteristics, and qualities of Purple's goods, services, and that Purple is suffering damage as a result. Unless a preliminary injunction issues, plaintiff will continue to suffer irreparable harm. An injunction would not be adverse to public interest. The threatened injury outweighs any harm that might result to defendants and therefore the, preliminary, the uh, preliminary injunction shall issue. And the order goes like this. This order binds and is enforceable against defendants and their officers, agents, servants, employees, and attorneys. The Monaghan defendants shall immediately and prominently display on the Honest Mattress Reviews website and all associated social media platforms, including without limitation the Facebook, YouTube, Twitter pages, Use a, they should display the disclosure statement below. The disclosure statement must be clear and conspicuous and must appear at the top of the pages. The disclosure statement shall read as follows. The owner of HMR, Ryan Monahan, has previously held himself out to the public and the court as independent and unbiased. However, the Federal District Court has found that Monahan has a significant business relationship with Ghostbed and its CEO, Mark Werner, from which Monahan derives significant income. The court also found that HMR has been consistently favorable to Ghostbed and unfairly critical of Purple's products, one of Ghostbed's primary competitors. For more information, go to this link. 
The Monaghan defendants shall immediately remove and delete all online content previously published by them that include any statements or inferences to the effect that Purple uses baby or talc powder, that Purple is affiliated with Johnson & Johnson, that Purple's products cause cancer, that Purple's products cause people to cough up blood. Such content shall be removed from all websites, social media, and any other location. Prohibited from reposting. Shall clearly and conspicuously display the disclosure statement. Um, the defendants are prohibited from publishing or making statements related to the lawsuit, etc., etc. Ghost Bed shall not make any statements to the effect that Purple uses baby or talc powder, and Ghost Bed shall remove from its website and social media all references to HMR as an independent third-party mattress review site. Very, very interesting. What do you think of that? I believe I have here the uh, Honest Mattress Reviews website. I think we might have actually typed over it. Honest Mattress Reviews. And if we go here, you can see they have it right here at the top. The district court entered an injunction requiring the above uh, disclaimer. They've appealed the injunction, and here's the disclaimer. The owner of HMR, Ryan Monahan, etc. And then they provide a link to the injunction. So he's going to appeal the injunction, but it sounds like the judge uh, ain't got no time for that. It really, really sounds like... Uh, like the judge has has found some things about honest mattress reviews to be to be completely false and untrue, and um, and the judge is definitely concerned for irreparable harm, hurting Purple Mattress in all of this. So I actually feel a little bad for Purple Mattress. This sounds like they really did like like Ryan Monahan really did conspire with with Ghost Bed to to make a not so honest review site that's literally titled honest reviews like how 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 much worse can you get with this it's literally freaking titled honest reviews and yet he wasn't so honest about being affiliated with with ghost bed and and conducting this this viral attack marketing campaign without disclosing his relationship with the competitor so that's uh, that's really interesting and a little bit a little bit sad because we live in in this wonderful society where we're supposed to work hard and innovate and make our money based on the merits of what we do, not um, not this backdoor surreptitious, false and misleading and confusing stuff that's meant to take advantage of consumers inability because frankly you know, it's, it's part of the human condition consumers just can't look into everything like they can't do this level of research for everything it's unreasonable to expect that so they're taking advantage of that by being misleading and hoping that people will not be able to look into their statements and will simply act upon their statements doesn't that happen to us all so very interesting very interesting story uh, I look forward to hearing your comments and questions on that 